Hi there, it's Shell. Uh, Clint is starting some laundry, I, I believe. It's kind of Sunday, well, it's Sunday afternoon, about 4.30, and we're kind of, you know, preparing for this next week. Um, so he's starting some laundry and things like that. And one thing I was thinking is, you know, I was wondering if, you know, what kind of ideas we could come up with these Yahtzee cards, these Uno cards, things like that. Well, of course, you could, you know, just glue them onto coffee dyed paper. But let's see what else we can do with them. That way, we have an idea. Here's Clint. Hey! <laughs> Tell him you were probably washing clothes. I am washing clothes. Clint's washing clothes so that tomorrow we have to leave the house like at 5 30, which is today for you guys uh, we have a long day ahead of us and we um, so we have to leave here by 5 30 and then he has a doctor's appointment in town at 1 30 but first we have to go you know an hour and a half away and then make it back to town by 1 30 and all these people are calling him saying hey it's Monday and we're gonna need you <laughs> So he's like, oh, sorry, or, you know, later in the week or whatever, but anyways, I was thinking about this, and he, I don't know if his video will go up before this one, he probably will, so we'll see, or after, but be sure and watch Clint's video, it was really humorous. So anyways, uh, what? can we do I did bring out a bunch of other things that we could do but I kind of wanted to figure out something here so one thing I was thinking is you know is it sturdy enough to like turn into an envelope or something I may go ahead and just glue it down onto some coffee dyed paper actually let's just glue it down on some white paper just just to kind of give it some strength so, we're going to do that. <clears throat> but I was thinking, you know, we may not all have an idea of what to do with what we're, our, um, what I, okay, yeah, yeah <coughs> uh, decoupaged on. I tell you guys, we've had a busy day today. I uh, put up my shelving unit. Well, I was going to start it, and then I remembered that I needed to go out and check for my apricots. And we went out there and noticed that a bunch of them were getting eaten. So there's deer, and we saw them this morning. Deer out there. So we went ahead and picked probably for a good solid hour. And I probably have at least two bushels if oh, yeah. they were in a bushel. Yeah. Of apricots so then I came in let me grab my brayer I think that would work really nice for this so then we went and picked all well a lot of apricots we did not get them all by any stretch of the imagination Butterball. daddy wants you honey bunny so we did not get all of the apricots and like I've mentioned before we, um, we've lived here 21 years and we've never harvested apricots. Sorry, she knocked you guys down. So, I was really excited because those are my favorite. So, I'm really harvesting them and then I was so exhausted. Well, when I got back in, Clint was climbing the ladder. Thankfully, I didn't have to do that. But when, uh, we got back in... <coughs> I had my shelf stuff strewn all over the kitchen because I wanted to get that done first thing this morning. So I sat down and rested for a few minutes just because I was so hot and it was only 8.30. So we turned the air on at 8.30 and then I went in there, started the shelving and then Clint put the edge the back on. It's not an expensive shelving, it's just that like 12 inch squares. But I had a whole wall in my craft room 
that wasn't I wasn't really using it as well as I should so I went ahead and got more shelving so then we got that done and I loaded the dishwasher and Clint's been working on ink blenders he got 10 done today so some of you guys will be getting your messages before too long actually I sent out all those messages so if you haven't got one also if you haven't got one and you're expecting one let me know because just to make sure I do have you on the list um, I usually don't tell people I have the, have them on a list until I'm writing them down but you never know I can make a mistake never made one before <laughs> just kidding <laughs> oh then, yeah, and Clint. Oh, you did the cat chicken food and stuff yesterday, right? Yeah. Yeah. No wonder he's exhausted today. He did the he did a chicken feeder and to make life easier for him yesterday, and it's just been a busy weekend. You know, usually our weekends are not this busy, but there's so much we want to get done, and he's been he worked on the chenille covers and. Uh, ruffles fabric ruffles got a bunch of them done but we want to do a, a lot more before we put them in the store and then all kinds of stuff and now my craft room is a big mess because everything from my one walls on the in the middle of the floor <laughs> so I'm just using a brayer I actually got this at a yard sale and um, I think it was Christy with burlap and daily bread and she uses a uh, brayer and I saw this and so I got it for like 50 cents they tried to talk me into the whole box of stuff but it was and I'm not sure where that came in handy but or came in used with that box of stuff but it was like um, Grant, not granite, um, tiles and stuff, and then they had a brayer in there. So I don't know, do you use a brayer for tile? I never have, and I've done my own tile a little bit here and there. So I don't know. She says, Don't you want the whole box? And I said, No. <laughs> so, but yeah, we're just busy, busy today. Uh, I did talk to my sister, and she said she hopes you guys got. A giggle out of her trauma <laughs> but she did get the house cleaned up and everything and then she said if she didn't turn around and their cat which I didn't know they had a cat brought in a bird and was eating it in the middle of the living room floor <laughs> I didn't hear that. yeah she sent me um, mm -hmm. a picture yeah she's like I just kind of threw up my hands but she said they want her to do some more work or house it again for them in a couple of weeks. So I told her I'll keep you guys informed of what what she's been up to. Did you find her iPod case? <laughs> Not that I know of. But she did go wash her car today. And she took out her floor mat. Let's see, I have another white sheet. This is just plain old paper, poppy paper. But she went and washed her... Um, and she took out her floor mat so that when she's vacuuming she can just um, vacuum around it and it doesn't cost her you know extra quarters or whatever so she went back and there was only one of her floor mats left and she's like Michelle there's only <laughs> but I guess some guy washed her car I don't really know where she went or anything but she said uh, some guy had washed her car and he took her floor mats and was washing them too because I thought maybe they got stolen okay. yeah so that was the but yeah it's been an interesting she's funny and like Lisa said she needs her own comic or reality show <laughs> she her own YouTube I keep telling her to get on YouTube should be hilarious but she's too shy which is funny because I'm the shy one I think I think I am anyways. No? I don't. 
I really should have put these on coffee dyed paper. Oh well. I know. I was wondering why you're using the white. Well, I was using the white because I'm going to make those into envelopes. But then these I was going to use as. Um, Oh, good grief, Michelle. Uh, journaling cards. But that's okay. If I decide to put coffee dye paper, I can. And it'll just be sturdier. So anyways, yeah. Um, I did look up some other, you know, just kind of look on Pinterest and stuff. You can find all kinds of things. There are a few things I wanted to try, but, you know, I have all week. And... After doing everything that we got done this morning, I was just like, I'm so tired. <laughs> so, but I also don't like to miss a day, you know, on videos. Even though people have said it's quite alright, Michelle. But, <clears throat> kind of in the hang of just, it's kind of like on my schedule. It's just like part of my routine to make a video and... It suck it up, buttercup, and do it. Suck it up, buttercup, and do it. <laughs> is what Clint's saying. Oh, but during the winter, we're really, really slow. And I mean, we might stay home for like three weeks nonstop. I mean, it's that slow. And then during the summer, it's like this. It's crazy. Um, but Clint really needs, he's still having sinus issues. So we got in to see our actual physician instead of like one of her um, co-workers or whatever so and she's really hard to get in to see but so and it happened to be on a Monday which is always not a good idea <laughs> but we make it work it's just like well I'm with you too I need to talk to her about my, the pain in my back uh, yeah, so. Clint really needs to talk to her about some things and maybe change in medication, stuff like that. So, we felt it was best to go to her and he's having a lot of back issues and stuff. Which is normal, it's just worse than usual. And we're going to get some more peaches most likely if we have time tomorrow. We better have time to pick up a few boxes. <laughs> If we have time tomorrow. I've already ate the, I've almost ate two She's boxes. almost eaten two boxes minus what I've eaten, which might be ten total. For me, Clint usually eats most of them. And they're so good. But you should see our kitchen table. We seriously have a huge box of apricots and then six bags, Walmart size bags full. Yeah. And, yeah, so I'm going to have to process those this next week. We don't have a dehydrator. Though, we're looking at getting one. <coughs> Just so I can dehydrate some apricots too. Because it's going to be interesting. We, and we don't have a, free, a big freezer. We have the little, you know, side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. But not a big one. So everything I do, I need to process in can or whatever. Well, so, I have I all really, that to do. Oh, go, ahead. go ahead, baby. Oh, I just want to say, I just really want, you know, this to be our retirement. That's what I'm working up to. Yeah, is. Clint's looking to retire. So I want to be able to craft. And not 100%, but we do have one contract that we'd like to get rid of. And so he's, we're trying to make this kind of enough to cover that um, contract, yeah. which isn't a big contract, so we could easily do that. Yeah. But we're kind of hanging in there for some, you know, for one of our guys, too, so. so. Thank you guys for all the. Thank you for all the support. Yes, and all the blender orders. I do appreciate it. I know I'm a little <laughs> bit behind, but thank you so much. Yeah, really Clint said thank you for all the ink blenders and stuff. So, um, now I'm just going to make this one. I just thought I would make a, mm -hmm. just a little um, envelope. I'm just using this because it's here. <laughs> uh, you guys know how it is. Let's just do it like this. And then I was thinking about rounding the corners. Of course, I didn't put my stuff up like I should have. Let's see. There's the one. Let me grab my corner rounders. Oh, that's the other. 
Looks like say that's not even the right one. So my clean table is no longer clean from when I did my <laughs> which you know doesn't take long to get messy. We got uh, fabric on the table and paper on the table. Yeah. Just been a bit, like I said, a busy weekend. We're both, neither one of us have been feeling 100%. Probably what I will do, since I am still having some of this pop up, is go ahead and sew around it. But, isn't that going to be a cute little um, envelope? So, I can use that. You can leave it like this. And I thought about doing this and kind of leaving it for a, um, for a, my brain is still not working today. <laughs> Leaving it for a journaling spot and like you could glue this part down or something, but I also don't want to cover that up. So this will be an envelope. So, and let me give you the dimensions of this just so you kind of have an idea. It's about six and a half by five. So, and then these would be kind of cool if you put them side by side course they're not even the same size. That's a Uno one. What about a rototiller baby for cover? A rototiller? Yeah, one of those small ones. Yeah, sis said you could borrow hers. <laughs> uh, sis said you could borrow hers. So if you wanted to, you could punch this. Let me go grab my punch so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, I'm pretty sure I put that up. Let me see if I can get to it in my messy craft room. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I got my punch, and I kind of had an idea about these. Uh, if you guys are like me, you have tons of these game cards and stuff like that. So, I'm trying to kind of figure out a way to use them. Yeah, you could put coffee dye paper on them, fold them in thirds, and pop them in your junk journal. But, I kind of wanted to be a little bit more creative. So, I'm going to use my art glitter glue. Again, this is always down below in my uh, description. Sorry, I'm still using my pen that rusts. I'm still looking for my thing, uh, Georgia. <laughs> Poor Georgia gave me these really cool pens. And I put up my um, charm holder thing. What I'm going to do is put this one on the bottom and this one on the top, and then I'm just going to glue them together. But um, I haven't, I thought I put it in a safe place, and I can't find it. You know, you guys know how that goes. But I am going through my um, craft room because I'm fixing to have that giveaway on the first. So you guys have until the 31st, the link is below. You have to go over and comment on that. Um, have to go comment on that video. video. Sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so now we just kind of have like a big pocket, a center pocket. You can see all the way through it. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and fold it. And that's kind of why I wanted, um, one on the bottom, one on the top, so that it kind of um, goes well together. Of course, you don't have to. I don't know if it's necessary. I was just thinking, you know, that way one side would be on the top, either side. So that's about centered. And then I thought I could use this and just punch a little hole in here, a thumb hole. Oops. Okay, on both sides. And I'm just kind of, you know, just checking it to see if it's in the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew down both of these edges. So I just glued it so it stay in, in um, frame or whatever. <coughs> so it wouldn't move. Gosh, guys. And then this would go in the center of a signature, and then when you sew it in, it would stay in place. But it's another way, you know, another place to put your, um, 
thought I felt something. To put a journaling card or something like that. So let's see what I have over here. Like one, you know, one of these or something. You could just pop it in for another journaling spot. So that's kind of a fun idea. So we have two two ideas. Both of these need to be sewn though. So I didn't pull out my sewing machine today. It's kind of on the back wall over here to kind of get it out of my way. <clears throat> so, and then we have this one. What could we do with this one? This is the one that has those weird purple roses that just don't look very well. Somebody said she laughed when Clint said, ooh, that's so ugly. <laughs> so, uh, one thing you could do, I have an idea is just fold it in half. Sorry, this brain is full of knowledge. <laughs> we haven't watched Swamp People in the last couple of days. Did we watch it yesterday? Yeah, but I think we missed some on the previous season. So I think oh, that. okay. We usually watch Swamp People every day, kind of like we do MASH. We love MASH. So what if you went ahead and folded this and then put it on the edge of your um, page and then you could use it as a tuck spot. So that's a pretty cool idea, huh? I like that. So there's a lot of ways you can use these. You just have to be creative and see what you can come up with. Uh, if you wanted to, also you could put another one on the back of this, fold it in half and then put this in your signature and you would just need a little tiny tag so that would be kind of fun too so it would go like this I just kind of fold that I don't want to fold it too hard but like this and then just punch a little hole there and you'd have a little tiny tag on the inside so that's another idea and then we have these little guys and I was thinking about um, Here's Sophia. Can you guys see her? She's walking around talking to Mama. Hi, sister. You okay? Go ahead and distress them. It's, um, it's just too white for me. And because this is a fairly new game, you know, the they're just going to be white. Sophia. Sophia, what are you doing? Daddy's over there. You want to go love on Daddy? <laughs> Daddy's like, uh-uh. She went behind and is laying down now. How deep. What? So how deep. Oh, I thought you said how neat. <laughs> yeah, we're both, like like I said, Clint climbed the ladder and climbed the tree, climbed the tree <clears throat> to get those apricots. But when I went over there, I mean, there was seeds all over the ground because the deer have been eating them. And I surely don't want everything to eat my apricots before I get them. So this week will be a huge apricot um, processing thing. Okay, so what can we do here? You sure need to watch those more. And there's two does. They were really fun. Yeah, there was two does out there. And they were just, they were fun to watch for sure. <coughs> We tried to be really quiet. We don't have any eggs in the house, so I was going to have Clint run out and get some. But I just ate a hot cereal so that we wouldn't disturb <laughs> the deer. I think it might be a mine. Like a yearling, yearling yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were, one was smaller than the other one, even though, I mean, it wasn't a fawn. But it could have been, like Clint said, a yearling or something. So, let's see what we want to do here. Okay. Let's use these two. Let's put this one on the front because it's got that big thing. And I don't even know if this is going to work. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Well, of course you could fold it under this and then you could glue that in that might be kind of pretty 
or you could make it into like I said a little like maybe a floating pocket so like a coin envelope or something you could just punch a hole here sew down all the edges and then just kind of have it floating or you could just you know put one of these like with some uh, cardstock or something and then you could glue it down or actually you wouldn't have to glue it down you could just punch a hole and then glue it down because it's sturdy enough it would stay in your book but I kind of like this where you fold it but I also have this dragonfly so and I hate to kind of get rid of him so I think I'm just going to make these into journaling cards I know that's kind of what I had planned on first so let's go ahead and just put these on some coffee day paper and then I'll probably go ahead and sew around them just to kind of give them another um, some more strength and make sure that my glue stick sticks everywhere because I'm not so sure I'm getting it really well. <clears throat> but I tell you, Christy, I really love using this sprayer. It just really kind of helps straighten it out a little bit and uh, really gets it to stick really well. And I do have a brayer for when I used to do mixed media but I really didn't want like glue and stuff all over it. Not that it matters because it's not like I use it for mixed media anymore. But for 50 cents it was worth it. So yeah, I'll just do this. There. But yeah, see how it's kind of coming up and stuff. I just want it to make sure. So I am going to just um, glue around these, but I, or um, sew around them. But I think I'm also going to do a collage on these because this part's kind of empty here this part's kind of empty here so I'll probably collage on them but like I was saying in the other video um, you know a napkin can be like the base for your collage so just kind of adds you know collaging is just layers upon layers so it's just another layer so definitely especially if there's like that purple napkin that just doesn't show up very well or maybe it's not your favorite but you don't want to just toss it think about just using it for a background just another layer so that's kind of nice really I guess I could do some collaging still have plenty of time I think so Uh, there's chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. <laughs> Ooh, chocolate milk. <laughs> I ordered Clint some organic chocolate milk. We try to do a lot of organic stuff. And he loved it. But they no longer sell it on Amazon. So we got him another one that's organic. And he tried it the other day and it was pretty good. So, so he's happy again as long as he has his chocolate, huh, Marilyn? Or was it Kateri? Huh, it's Kateri. <laughs> Kateri, what said to hide it? It was Kateri who told me to hide Clint's chocolate. <laughs> Which is just downright mean. <laughs> he told you, Kateri. <laughs> just downright mean, Kateri. So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, we'll pull this, these out. And just do some collaging real quick since we have a little bit of time. And that's one of my favorite things to do is collaging. But, and also because we have the um, game board behind it, that is kind of another layer, you know. So we have the game board, we have the napkin, and we're going to kind of just mess around and see what we can come up with. I think I do want curved corners. Like I said, though, I am going, I'm going to turn it upside down. I am going to... Um, so around them most likely unless I don't feel the need to but right now I kind of wonder you know
but yeah, we're not looking forward to tomorrow. Plus, I'm hot and it's sweaty and it's going to be hot and yucky tomorrow too. I'm ready for winter. I am a winter person. So, Robin, you can send your winter my way. <laughs> I was like, I'm so ready for winter. And she's like, no. Uh, she's in Maine, though. I wonder if they get snow and stuff before we do. I don't know. But one day closer to winter, or just to fall. Clint and I say that every morning. <laughs> one day closer. One of my friends, I think I told you guys, she said, don't wish summer away, but you know, we don't do anything fun in summer. It's not like we go camping or hiking or traveling or anything like that. It's just busy, busy summer. So I don't mind wishing it away. <laughs> so yeah. But I do have some of these Tim Holtz items that I think they might be kind of fun to put, you know, in here too. Like maybe something like that. We'll see. Kind of play around and see what we can do. <clears throat> I am tired though. Oh, and I would like to do a stamp, I think. <clears throat> I was feeling like these new stamps. So I don't think I told you guys, but I ordered more stamps from... Did you really? <clears throat> from Miss Diane. Diane Hubert. So... Sorry, honey. Oh, I did, I like, I think I ordered, like, 400 more. <laughs> like, I need stamps. <laughs> but look, it's getting low. You can almost see the bottom. See it right there. <coughs> oh, I tell ya. But you have to grab them, and her stuff goes so fast. It's it Diane H. on, um... YouTube and I always have her linked below. She's one that really inspires me and Yeah, maybe I'll put two like that. That's kind of fun. Maybe one down here in the corner But her stuff just goes so fast and if you want it then you better snatch it up kind of Otherwise, you're not gonna see it I'm Not gonna get it. I feel like that one's almost too big So I did when I saw that she had a some new stuff in, in our Etsy. I just shot over there. I didn't even watch the video and grab some stuff. But I think she sold out in um, about 12 minutes because some lady was complaining that she was already sold and she wasn't sure that she, you know, really followed through and put her stuff in the Etsy store. But even though she had, <coughs> because I got them. <laughs> Yeah, she wasn't very nice and um, she was pretty downright rude. She was very rude and so I kind of said, uh, I know she put them on there because I went over there and I got some of them, you know, and cuz I really feel like we have to kind of stand up for our fellow yeah. fellow YouTubers cuz sometimes, you know, when we're doing YouTube and stuff, we just don't have the time to maybe respond or you know, things like that, so no, she was really sweet. She's like, Michelle, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she shot her mouth off before finding out the facts. Yeah, she was just really, it was not a nice comment, and I was glad that I could help Diane out, because I'm like, uh, no, she did. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, but Diane and I had a conversation and worked it out, so, yeah. This is Lily. You know what time it is? It's almost tree time. <laughs> it's barely five o'clock and she's like, Mama, don't forget at six, you gotta give me treats. Lily Mae, they don't wanna see your back. Okay, she's walking away. So that's one you don't get to see very often, Miss Lily Mae. Miss Lily Mae Ratcliffe. We have conversations, me and Lily. She's the one who knows how to tell time, just like today. See, that's a prime example. She knows she doesn't get treats until 6 o'clock. But she tries to buffalo me and to give them to her at 5. 
and she knows but she's like that's lily sorry guys <laughs> but yeah she's just like but have you changed your mind and once in a while we might go lay down or something we go to bed early or you know we're not feeling good or clint's hurting or something so we go in there and watch tv and in that case she might get a early treat but then she's like you gave me one yesterday you gave me an early treat yesterday mama do i get one today so just kind of we're old so we go to bed early <laughs> oh you say that about all of them speaking of which i think i heard your bubba talking just now oh, okay. Okay. clint's bubba is still sleeping and he'll sleep really well if the air conditioner's off in there and when Clint got up though at 2.30 and I'm pretty sure I just heard him or I heard baby girl or something. Let me see. I'm not sure where my glue book thing is. So, this. Just a piece of paper that is just but I am looking forward to kind of organizing my craft space a little bit more because we do have stuff going in Etsy and what I do is I put them in um, Rubbermaids so the cats don't get to them and so I will put that kind of stuff like in my um, sorry that kind of stuff in my shelving unit that I got for got yesterday <laughs> Clint put some, something on um, pause, and now it thinks it needs to play. So if you guys heard that in the background, sometimes I don't hear it. So which is kind of funny. Uh oh, my glue stick's getting low. I have a whole bunch though, so I need to pull out another one. But I think this is the first glue stick I've ever used all the way through, and I think I bought a case of them. <laughs> So I'm well set. I did send Miss Gail a few of them though. Because you know, if you guys watch Miss Gail, man, she goes through that glue. So I send her some. I'm trying to think if I want this one up here, which I think I might. Put this one here. And this one here. I kind of like them kind of cattywampus. I don't like things straight up and down. Once in a while, but not, you know, as a rule. So, let's see what else I can put on here. I feel like I need, like, a focal point. So, like, here's this one. Way too big, I think. This one's way too big. You know, but you can put kind of whatever you want to in here. Ooh, look at this pretty green one. That's kind of fun. And I even kind of like that ticket thing. Maybe a smaller ticket. Yeah, I like that. What I'm going to do, though, is just kind of put some, because these come with a uh, white trim all the way around, and so I'm just going to darken it. Did he wake up? I thought I heard him. There's little Bubba. Daddy's Bubba's awake. Just in time for cat treats and to go to bed. <laughs> Turn it back on the air, too. Oh, good. Thank you. How are you doing, bit there? Well, you had a long nap today. Well, and he was in there by himself, which is kind of crazy. Yep. It's not like him. No. He's a buddy. I do um, do my <laughs> distress ink all the way around. Because I love that touch on most items I do anyways. And then I think I'm going to do it like that. That's kind of cute. 
So the secret with collage is it's definitely something you have to practice. You know, I when I first started collaging, it was so hard. But as you kind of go, you kind of you know get the feel for how you like to do it and stuff. It's not near as bad. So that's kind of cute and then what I'll do is just pop this in a pocket or something but you know it's kind of a fun collaged um, pocket and you can write on the back or do whatever you wanted to it now if you wanted to you could have done like a little pocket out of your butterfly and then just had the ticket um, pop in there but I kind of wanted the ticket to be a piece of the collage so, I'm going to do that, and then let's look at this one and just see what we can do here. And I think we're just about done. So, that's kind of fun. I don't know if I like that that well, actually. Gerber daisies, I think. I don't know. I love Gerber daisies, though. Ooh, that might be cute there. I've kind of been stacking all my little little things in here but those little yeah let's put that there I don't know I just think it'd be cute just putting a little bit of coffee dyed paper or vintage photo there and then we have a little tag here yeah that's kind of cute Okay, let's see if I need to add anything else. I still feel like there's something missing. Again, you know, when you're, like somebody said, if you can't think of anything else, then walk away from it because, but if you feel like it still needs something, then it's not done. At least that's how I feel. I think this is a Tim Holtz picture thing. Ooh, that one's kind of pretty. Ooh, I really like that. This one, I think I'm going to go ahead and trim off some of the white. Because the last one, it didn't really cover that well. And just to kind of give it, you know, a more of a cohesive look. And because I really don't want all that white showing. Sorry guys, I'm cutting his legs off. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. They are too hard to uh, fussy cut around. But I'll leave his antennas. Okay. And then he'll just kind of stand right there. That's kind of cute. I'm going to go ahead and cut, uh, distress ink his antennas and then all the way around just to kind of take that white back a little bit. And then we'll pick all of our mess up. Okay, for These, I think I'm going to leave them just like this. They are five inches. You could use them as a pocket, or you could use them as a journaling card. And they're already kind of yellowed on the back, so they're perfect. So that's kind of fun. So, but let me kind of clean this up and show you guys what we got done today. Sorry, this video I don't think was really that long, but this time of year it's kind of some long, some short, some, but we do have two of two videos for you guys today, so if you haven't seen the other one, be sure and head over and watch that one, because that one was kind of fun to watch. I feel 
painted over how nice her chenille cover turned out. They really did turn out well. Okay, so let's kind of go through and see what we have. So we have these, of course. We have the postcards, which you could use them as, you know, like a tuck spot. You could cut them down maybe and use them as a pocket. That would work nicely. And, I mean, there's journaling spots on it. You could use them as a flip, like a fabric, not a fabric flip, but put washi tape or something and kind of like a tip in. Um, you could put them together like we did the other items and make like a little um, bag or a little pocket. Oops. <laughs> right side up. So there's all different things that you can do, but I kind of wanted to specifically talk about, you know, the game pieces because they might be kind of hard to come up with ideas. So we ended up with two uh, journaling cards, so that was kind of fun. And then this, we can use this as like the edge of a page. That's fun. And then if you just put glue here, here, and here, and put that on your page, then you have a little tuck spot. So that's kind of fun. I like that. This can go in the center of your signature. Again, I'm going to sew down the edges. But this can go down the center of your signature, and then you can have two places for journaling cards. And then the last one is just a simple uh, envelope made out of a scorecard. So I think that's fun. And I'm going to go ahead and sew around this too. And then I'll put some, uh, I'll just sew here and here. And then it could either, it'll probably be like a floating um, envelope. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you some ideas. And... Um, hope you're following along oops sorry <laughs> and building your stash so we really appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for watching be sure and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we are putting up daily videos give this video a thumbs up it really helps out our channel and we will see you guys in the next video see you soon bye